All right, so today we are going to be starting our series on the channel to clear all the stages of the new, uh, I think it's called Furious Charge Breaking the Siege event that came with part two of the 350 million download celebration. Now, these videos aren't exactly going to be like guide videos, they're more so just to show you guys what I decided to go with for my teams, but if it happens to give you some ideas or some inspiration for how to beat it in your games as well, then that'd be awesome. Now, before we get into it, a few things to keep in mind about this event are uh, the weakness for the event is the Pure Saints category, so you want to make sure that all of your main attackers on your teams are Pure Saints units. And there are also five different waves of enemies per uh, stage with five enemies per wave. And as you go through the waves, the enemies do get harder and harder. And the amount of turns you get to clear them also gets fewer and fewer. So for waves one and two, you get three turns to clear each wave. And then for waves three to four, you only get two turns. And then for the fifth and final wave, you only get one turn. So the basic strategy here for most of the stages is just to bring some really powerful attack all units like the STR Broly for example, or the Fizz Broly, um, LR Nappa and Vegeta, and so on and so forth. And the remainder of the team can really just be support units, like any support units that work for your attackers you know, can do, right? So for this team right here versus Fizz, uh, which arguably is the easiest of all five stages just because you are able to bring the STR Broly who I think is still probably the best attack all unit in the game right now. So this team is comprised of the two STR Brolies and then five support units to support the Brolies. And then for our items here, we have the Bulma for attack boosting and also a nuking item in the Lemo. Now it doesn't really matter which one you bring, you can bring the Chi Lai, the uh, Tabura Cookie, so on and so forth. I just personally like to match the item with the type that the attacker is. So there you go, that is the team. And uh, with all that said, let's jump right into it and see how this run goes. Now it looks like our Brolies are split up, which is ideal. You wanna have your attackers on separate rotations. And the first couple of phases, should be all just one shots here. Now I want to make sure to give my Broly a 12k super so he only does like a you know attack all as opposed to a single target attack with the 18 key. Although it doesn't really matter I guess because he does have the follow-up attack. But just in the interest of saving time let's go with the 12k super here and uh, I think for phases 1, 2, 3, and 4 we should be one shotting. And phase five is where a lot of people are having trouble. So that's when we're gonna pop the Balm item and also the uh, Lemo, try to get like a full board of STR orbs. And that should be good enough to take care of that stage as well. The thing I don't like about this event though, honestly, is like, it's not super beginner friendly. It's not really like new player or free to play friendly because a lot of people don't have you know, these attack all units, right? Like STR Broly, even though he's older now, a lot of newer players didn't have a chance to get him. And even if they did get him, you know, it's really hard to Extreme Z awaken him. So yeah, that's an issue. Um, you know, LR Nappa and Vegeta too, also a pretty rare unit. Fizz Broly, a little bit less rare, but still not super easy to get. So I just, not a big fan of events where like, it's mainly for, you know, long-term players and mainly for maybe, maybe people that spend a little bit of money on this game. I'm not saying that you can't beat it as a free-to-play. It's just quite a bit harder, right? So, uh, yeah, not a big fan of events like this, but I do personally like the challenge, I guess. It's just, it could have found a way to make it a little bit more accessible, I think. But anyways, uh, we are on the fourth phase now I think or third I think we can tell once we get through this one but I have kind of lost track 
But so far, as you can see, man, it's been one shots all the way. I think this is either either the third or fourth. It's definitely not the last one. And uh, I need to keep track, actually, of like how many phases we've been through, because I did have a run where I was really close to beating it, but I spammed all my items on the second last stage and uh, kind of screwed myself. Okay, so it says three charges, which means that we only have one turn to beat it. So this definitely is the uh, last phase here. So we're going to pop the Bulma first. There we go. And then we're going to do a Lemo. I changed a few, not too many though. Let's do a second one here. Come on. Uh, okay, a little bit better, a little bit better. So I think I'm going to attack with the Topo first. So we can get an additional attack boost, but also have access to all of the uh, orbs here. And then once we finish the 18 key super, the additional 12 key should be able to clear everybody at once. Should, should. I'm not 100% confident about it, to be honest. Okay, so the 18 key does about 10 million, or gets about 10 million attack. The additional here at 5.6, that's good. Yeah, we're, we're set, we're set. That's easily gonna clear everybody here. Yeah, 16 mil, look at that. 20 mil with the crit, 16, 16, and done. There you go. Now, I'm not gonna gloat about it. I'm not gonna even really feel good about it because as I said, man, this is definitely by far the easiest of all five stages. And uh, if you guys have STR Broly in your possession or even the I think the EZA, like, TUR Broly can probably do some good stuff here. Not as good, obviously, not as powerful, but if you, you know, use your items correctly, the EZA TUR STR Broly, like the non-LR one, could still be able to have a similar effect. Um, so maybe try that. But yeah, with the double STR Broly's, this stage is an absolute choke. And uh, there you go, guys. One out of five done. I'll be back with four more videos over the course of the weekend. Um, later today, you'll probably see the AGL stage, like the one where you can use the AGL team. So I guess versus SDR, and also probably versus Int as well, where I'll be using the LR Nappa Vegeta and the Fizz Broly, uh, respectively. So stay tuned for those. And for now, guys, that is going to be today's video. Let me know in the comments if you guys had some alternatives for... Um, teams, you know, without Broly to beat this stage. Uh, maybe it can help some people that are struggling, you know, without Broly's. Um, so that'd be awesome. And uh, as always, if you guys liked today's video, then make sure to like the damn video. And if it's your first time watching me, first time to the channel, and you like what you see, then definitely hit that big red subscribe button to join the Tiger Squad now. And while you're at it, Hit that notification bell too, so that YouTube knows you want to stay up to date with all my latest content. And that's it. I'm out of here. Until next time, have an awesome, awesome day. I'm Tiger with Tiger Uppercut Media. Signing out.